The last problem, question 15, find the maximum of g of t on that interval, negative 1.5 to 3. This is continuous on a closed interval, so it has maximum, and the maximum can occur at the endpoints or at the critical points. So first, we find the critical points for g. Take the derivative of g, which is equal to 3t squared minus 9, and solve this equal to 0 for t. So 3t squared equals 9, divide did both sides by 3, t squared equals 3, so t is equal to plus minus negative, sorry, square root of 3. But we are only interested on this interval. Now, now the square root of 3 is approximately 1.73, so this is approximately plus minus 1.73. So in particular, negative 1.73 will be outside this interval, but square root of 3 is inside that interval. So critical, critical numbers in the interval negative 1.5 until 3 is square root of 3. So now our job is to compare the value of g at this critical number and at the endpoints. So let me put, let me squeeze it over here. So g of we need to calculate g of square root of 3, g of negative 1.5, and g of 3. So let me do first for g of 3. 3 cubed is 27, minus 27 plus 5 is 5. Okay, now this is 1.5, which is 3 over 2. So negative 27 over 8 and then plus 27 over 2 plus 5. So if we simplify, this is equal to 108 over 8. And this one is 40 over 8. So 40 over 8. Then this is equal to 148 minus 27, 121. 121 over 8. And for this one, we cannot avoid using calculator, so let us use Google to do this job. So this is square root of 3. So we cube this. And then minus 9 times square root of 3. Plus 5. which is equal to negative 5 point 
So then the maximum is occurred when t equals 3 because this one is, oh I'm sorry, this is bigger than that one. So this is the maximum.